So you got your Mr. FPGA built and ready for installation of software, or maybe you're just curious about the Mr. and what it takes to set one up. There's guides out there, but I just wanted to throw one together where you could get set up and running in five minutes or less. So I'm gonna shut up and do this thing so we can try to hit this time limit. On the desktop, open a browser, go to win32diskimager.org, give it a download. Navigate to your download and install it. Then we're going to head over to the GitHub Mr. Fusion page, link in the description. Download the newest Mr. Fusion zip. Navigate to your downloaded Mr. Fusion zip. I'm using 7-Zip to extract it. Once we have it extracted, we can get rid of the zipped file. With your micro SD card plugged in, open your file browser, make absolutely sure you know what drive your micro SD card is on. Double check, triple check. You don't wanna flash your main drive or one of your storage drives. Now we can go ahead and run Win32 Disk Imager. All we have to do is point it to the Mr. Fusion image file that we downloaded. Make sure you're writing to the right drive and once we're happy we can go ahead and hit write. By putting Mr. Fusion on the micro SD card we're just adding a base operating system to the Mr. so that we can boot into it and continue. Just click yes and a little warning pop up and it will write the image file. Once it's done writing the Mr. Fusion image, you can unmount your micro SD card, pull it out, pop it in your Mr. and power it on. Once you do that, you'll be greeted by this splash screen installing Mr. Fusion. Just give it a few minutes, shouldn't take long. You'll be able to reboot and you'll have a base operating system, but really not much to do. You'll have empty folders, no cores. So go ahead and power off your Mr., pull out your micro SD, and let's continue. Back on the computer with the micro SD inserted, we're gonna head to GitHub to update all Mr. Script. We're gonna go up to code, download zip, save it. We're gonna head to our file we downloaded with 7-zip, we're gonna extract it. Now we can get rid of that zipped file, we don't need it. Now open your Mr. Micro SD and you'll get a weird format warning. Just exit out of that. You will see a scripts folder inside your Mr. Micro SD. That's where we're gonna put the update all script. Now just open your update all Mr. file that we downloaded and you will see a update all.sh. That is your script file. And we're just gonna move this, drag and drop it into the scripts folder of your micro SD card for the mister. This update all script will get you all the goodies you want. It's basically a set of instructions to download, install, and update all the cores and necessary files needed to get those cores up and running. All you'll have to worry about is dragging and dropping ROMs into the folders. Unless you're like me and have problems with the Neo Geo where it did not install the ROM set XML file, but I made a video that covers that and how to get that up and running, so you can check that out. All right, micro SD back in the mister. You're gonna wanna hit escape to get to this screen. Go down to scripts. It's gonna give you a warning. Go to yes, continue. Now you wanna scroll down to the update all script. That's what we just put on there and that's gonna make all the magic happen. All right, as soon as you run it, you have 15 seconds to hit up to get to the settings. I suggest you do that and double check and everything. You have your main downloader, of course you want that enabled. You have your Hotego downloader, that's for all his cores, I suggest you keep that enabled. Unofficial downloader, I haven't messed with it, I'm not sure what all comes with that. Um, make sure your BIOS getter and your MAME getters are enabled. Make sure your arcade organizer is enabled if you want that. Then go ahead and hit exit and run update all. That'll make the magic happen. This will take 20 to 30 minutes, so be patient. Once it finishes the update all script, it will reboot and you'll see you now have arcade, computer, and console directories. 
if we go ahead and open up arcade it's went and put in all the available arcade cores for us already roms included so if we go ahead we'll uh, load up double dragon 2 here give you a little look see at it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah All right, all right, enough of that. Micro SD out of the mister. Power down first. Stick it back in the computer. We gotta get these ROMs on here so we can end this video. In the root of your mister SD card, you have a games folder. Here you will find all the various cores to the systems you now have installed. And this is where you need to put your ROM files. I'm gonna cover just a few of the more popular console cores and the files and extensions needed for those ROMs. For NES, you will want ROMs with the .NES extension. For Super NES, you will want ROMs with the extension .SCF, .SMC, or .BIN. For the Master System, you will want .SMS ROMs. For the Genesis, you will want .BIN, .GEN, or .MD file extension ROMs. For Sega CD, you will want Q and Image files. For Turbo Graphics and PC Engine, you will want .pce or .bin files. For Super Graphics, you will want .sgx files. If the extension is something different, you can just rename it and add that .sgx at the end. For Turbo Graphics CD and PC Engine CD games, you want your bin and Q files. Here it shows where each core's games go if you can't figure out the abbreviations of some of the folders. For the larger multi-file games, Make sure they're in their own folder named correctly. I leave them unzipped. Some of the cores can handle zipped files, but I just leave them all unzipped. Now you can see inside each core in the game folders, we have ROMs populated. Let's go ahead and run some. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up. We didn't stay under five minutes, but we were pretty close. I'm going to leave you guys with some footage of several different games from different cores. Um, in the next video, I'm going to cover five times scaling and why you want to run it and what you need to enable and disable to run it so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Tension.